everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Oh, hi there, little readers. I was just feeding my fish, which made me really hungry. But not hungry for food, hungry for a new story. Oh, I know. How about we say the magic words to midnight so he wakes up and we can read a new story together? Sleep, be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. I said, sleep, be midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. Say it with me, sleep. Be midnight, please. Wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. <laughs> Little readers, you did it. Midnight's awake. Here we go. We. Okie dokie, midnight. What story did you find for us to read today? Captain Wren's Trip to Mars. Written by Belle Richardson and illustrated by Makita Harris. Wren is the captain of the spaceship. He will fly the rocket to Mars. Wren has work to do on the red planet. He needs to test rocks and soil to see if there is life on the planet. Wow, that's a big job. Yay! Ren flies the ship around the moon. It takes a long time to get to Mars. He looks at all of the stars and thinks about the planets that orbit them. There he is. The rocket has arrived. It is in Mars orbit with its two moons. Ren lands the ship down on the planet's surface. He leaves the ship with a digging tool. He is in a spacesuit. Ren cannot breathe the air, so he needs an air tank on his back. There's his digging tool. And do you see? There's his air tank on his back. I wonder what I would do if I were him. He walks far away from the ship. Mars is full of large, rocky hills. Scientists tell Ren of a good place to dig. Here are the right rocks for the test. The scientists want to see if there was life on Mars long ago. Ren collects the rocks to do tests on them. Ren checks in on the bot that lives on Mars. Its name is Curiosity. The bot digs up rocks as well. It takes a picture of Ren to send to Earth. Do you see? There's the robot named Curiosity that lives on Mars. Very cute. Let's get back to the story. It's time to leave the red planet and head back home. Ren travels past all of the galaxies and stars. He must get the rocks to the scientists. See, there's Mars. And there's Ren traveling in his rocket all the way back to Earth. That's where we live. I think this might be my favorite part. Captain Ren's job is done. He tells us all about what he saw on Mars. The scientists think that Mars used to have life. It used to be green and blue like Earth. Well done, Captain Wren. Time to get ready for another trip. The end. The story's all done. I hope you had fun with S-T-O-R-Y-T-I-M-E. Story time with S-A-N-D-I. Story time, Sandy. Midnight and I sure do love reading with all of you. <gasps> you know what else we would love to read? A special secret message written just by you. So grab a grown-up and ask them to help you write a message for us down below. And hey, before you go, let's read another story together. All you have to do is click that box right there. Let's go! Well, aren't you coming? Come on, click the box and I'll see you in the next story.